Our next example of a quadric surface is the hyperbolic paraboloid. The equation for a hyperbolic paraboloid has one linear term and two quadratic terms where the quadratic terms have opposite sign. The model for this would be z over c equals minus x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared, where a, b, and c are positive constants. Now, the hyperbolic paraboloid has the distinction of being the quadric surface, which is most challenging to draw. Fortunately, this is not an art class, so you won't be required to make accurate drawings of it. But let me show you how you can sketch it to get an idea of what it looks like. So we can first set z equals zero to find the intersection of the surface with the xy plane. And then we get the equation y squared over b squared equals x squared over a squared. And we've seen something like this before. We can take the square root of both sides to get y over b equals plus or minus x over a. And the solution set in the xy plane is two lines. So one of the lines goes through the origin and has slope b over a. And the other line goes through the origin and has slope minus b over a. Next, we can set y equals 0 to find the intersection with the xz plane. Here we get the equation z over c equals minus x squared over a squared. And this is an upside down parabola if I draw the xz plane with z going up. I could likewise set x equals 0 to find the intersection with the yz plane. And here we get the equation z over c equals plus y squared over b squared. So this is a right side up parabola. Now, in this, for this particular surface, it helps to get a bit more information. So another thing we can do is set z to be a constant, let's call it z0, which is not equal to 0. Let's say it's positive. So what does this do? This tells us what the intersection of the surface looks like with a horizontal plane, which is above the xy plane. So it's parallel to, but not the same as the xy plane. So if we set z to be a positive constant, then I get the equation z0 over c equals minus x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared. And this is the equation of a hyperbola, you know, hence the hyperbolic and hyperbolic paraboloid. And what kind of a hyper hyperbola is it? Well, since z0 and c are positive, if I set y equals 0, I get no solutions. So it doesn't intersect the x-axis, but it does intersect the y-axis. So it's a hyperbola looking like this. And if I set z0 to be negative, so if I take the intersection with a horizontal plane below the xy plane, then I'm going to get the other kind of hyperbola that intersects the x-axis, but not the y-axis. OK, so let's put all of this information together to sketch the three-dimensional surface. So remember that the intersection with the yz plane is a right-side-up parabola. So let's draw that in here. And the intersection with the xz plane is an upside-down parabola, so let's draw that one. And also, the intersection with a horizontal plane above the xz plane is a hyperbola, which intersects the y-axis, so it looks like this. And the intersection with a horizontal plane below the xy plane is a hyperbola 
hitting the, the x-axis, so that looks like this. And now we can sort of connect this together to get an idea of what the whole surface looks like. This is quite tricky to draw, by the way. Okay, but it's going to look like that. There, that came out okay. Um, we can also look at the intersection with the xy plane. So remember, we calculated that it's two lines. So it looks surprising that this curved surface is going to give you straight lines, but it really does. And these lines are here. So that's the intersection with the xy plane. So there's the sketch of the hyperbolic paraboloid. This is sometimes also called a saddle. You can imagine you're riding a horse. The horse is going in the y direction, and you're sitting on the saddle with your legs dangling off of the positive and negative x-axes.